How do you draw the Lewis dot structure for N2? Here is the easy way to draw the Lewis dot structure for N2. Nitrogen is an element of group 5A. So, nitrogen has 5 valence electron. You know that group number is equal to valence electron for main group of elements. Here we have 2 nitrogen atoms. So, 2 nitrogen atom will have 10 valence electron totally. This 10 valence electron has two tasks. The first task is to connect these two atoms of nitrogen and the second task is to satisfy the octet for both the uh, atoms, right? Here is the another way to find out the valence electron of nitrogen. Look, the atomic number of nitrogen is 7. So, if you do the electronic configuration of nitrogen, then you will get this. So, second shell is the valence shell and we know that the electrons uh, in valence shell are called valence electrons. So, 2 plus 3, 5 valence electrons in nitrogen. What is valence shell? Valence shell is the outermost shell, right? Here, outermost shell is second shell. So, now we will use these 10 electrons to uh, connect and satisfy these two nitrogen atoms. So, let us connect two nitrogen atoms using two dots. Here, here is the way. So, from 10 already we have used two. So, we have eight valence electron left, right? Now, use this eight, eight valence electron to satisfy the octet of this, this atom, nitrogen. So, look, this atom has two valence electrons. So, this can take maximum six to satisfy its octet, right? This. So, look, if you draw a square around a atom's symbol, you will get four side and try to place uh, the doors around this four side. So, look, two, four, six, out of eight, we have used six. So, we have two left and these two left electrons will come here. So, now look, this nitrogen, sorry, this nitrogen has eight valence electron, two, four, six, eight. two, four, six, eight, okay. But this nitrogen has, look, only four valence electron, right? So, let us delete this. So, how to satisfy the octet for this nitrogen atom? So, totally we will have 10 valence electrons. So, the only way to shift lone pair as bond pair, right? So, if I shift, if, if I shift this lone pair as bond pair, then what will happen? So, let us do it. So, now this nitrogen has six uh, valence electron, two, four, but uh, this nitrogen also has eight valence electron. So, we need to move more valence electron now, right? So, let us shift this pair, then what will happen? Okay, now look, now this nitrogen has 8 valence electron and this nitrogen also has 8 valence electron. So, we can say that this is the Lewis structure of nitrogen. Okay, let us find out the formal charge of this nitrogen atom. 
Okay, formal charge equal to valence electron for this nitrogen. For much valence electron of nitrogen in free state is 5, then shared electron, then unshared electron here 2 minus half of shared electron. Shared electron is 6. So, basically we are getting here 5 minus 2 minus 3. So, 0. So, this nitrogen has 0 formal charge. If you apply this formula here, then you will get the same result. So, formal charge 0 indicates that this is the stable configuration, right? A stable Lewis structure. Look, this nitrogen have 5 valence electron. So, it, take, it can take uh, 3 more to satisfy its octet. So, it will take 3 electrons. This means that it can form 3 bonds here. So, look, here already nitrogen has formed 3 bonds. So, this is the dot structure, uh, dot structure of nitrogen. So, here is the another way to represent this molecule. Here you can represent nitrogen uh, molecule like this. So, thank you for viewing this video. Be well.